And there we have it, that is the intro to Balthazar's Dream, everyone. I am not usually uh, a game reviewer of any type, but I got an email from the developers at Psilocybin Games to create a video on their new game, Balthazar's Dream, which is coming to Kickstarter now, actually. I'll put a link in the description down below. Um, unfortunately, I can't seem to adjust the volume on this game, so we'll have to see how this turns out in the end, but, uh, oh my. We'll start on normal. I gotta say, immediately, I, the art style is relatively pretty, but uh, the human faces remind me of the TV show Code Monkeys, and I can't let go of that. Alright, we don't. Very simple walking animations, but the jumping's cute and seems to have pretty tight controls, so that's a good start. Alrighty, feels like a ghost. Yes. Excellent. Jump over hydrant to save. Okay, that's adorable. The couch floating is a little... Uh, uh, but, okay. Oh, that, all right. I guess... So, the fact that there's nothing underneath these couches, and the fact that you land slightly down below the uh, cushion line is a little off-putting. Noticing we got some strange teddy bear amalgamation in the front. Ah, I see. It said jump over. I must have misread that. It press jump to save. Ah, I see the couch down below. Yeah, the uh, purple art style with more purple on top and more purple in the background. It's a little bit difficult to find things. Okay, jump on the tables. Alright, retry. Side. It looks like your uh, textures didn't quite line up on that section of wall there. The smart bar, okay. Interesting mechanic. Pretty good recovery time on the bar it seems to make it at least fun to uh, hang on and jump off a little bit. Um, I will say, I feel like more of these background items should be platforms that I can actually jump on if they've got the same lighting and coloring as items in the foreground. There's not a real distinction between this table that I can't jump on and the floor and where it's the couch that I can. Oh, okay. Something. What's. I guess the area of effect of that is slightly beyond. the animation? No. I'm just an idiot. Never mind. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm. Oh, is there a platform down there? down below. Ah, I was thinking that purple one on the left hand side was supposed to be something we're supposed to jump on, but uh... Okay, so that for forces you to run away. Alright.
I... You lost me, game. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do here. There doesn't seem to be a way to get across. There's not a rope to jump on. Ah, oh, 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 I get it. it, you can use it as a boost. I see, all right, that's um, that's something. Oh, I'm an idiot. See, I, I would assume that being afraid and having an icon looks like I'm poisoned over my head mean it's a, means it's a bad thing. That doesn't indicate to me that it's like a charge up special jump move that I should be excited about having. Little poison death icons tell me bad. Yeah, I. You went from having tight controls that were fun to use to not so fun controls. That aren't intuitive. Uh, that was my own fault, though. For some reason, this this particular vacuum cleaner is not as dangerous. Oh, and doesn't immediately go into effect. So maybe that's just a glitch of uh, early development that something's not quite the same, or maybe a different indicator that I'm not seeing somehow. But it seems like this one, the uh, effect comes into play at a later date, and for some reason I'm still able to hang on to the rope even though I have no smart bar. Um, so I will say I'm a little bit confused as to what exactly I'm supposed to be paying. See, like there, the bar drains extremely quickly and immediately goes into effect with the force running in a direction. Um, I, yeah, more confusing than helpful. on the bed without guilt. Okay. I mean, that's cute. Can I, like, make it jump higher by timing my jump or something? Or do I just... As far as I can tell, it's just... Oh, uh, a little bit... A little bit higher if I time it right, maybe? I'm not... I'm not sure. I seem to recall Pigs of this being a previous game they made. Um, they had, at the time, sent me a review copy for that as well, I believe. Um, from from what I recall, it was a relatively well-received game from those that played it. Um, but it was not picked up in the mass market. Oh, I didn't. Didn't realize that that particular wall was a background wall, not a foreground wall. Okay. Yeah, the the vacuum running thing, that's, that's not really a fun mechanic in my mind. Personal opinion. But it... The, the, yeah, why, why does hanging on this... Oh, okay, it does. I guess staying still maybe is a problem. I'm not sure I really understand why sometimes it's a problem and sometimes it's not. What what was Oh, I see chocolate and grapes kill dogs. Uh-huh. Okay, so that's the same particle animation as the the boost. Alright. Okay. Yeah, that's not... That's not particularly obvious that that's chocolate. I mean, I, I see it now that I'm looking to it to be chocolate, but, uh... Yeah, looks like bricks. Is 
Is, is the water bad? Okay, the water. Oh, the bath is pretty scary. I see. visual ripple effect of that um, is not particularly pleasant as well. I'd maybe tone it down a little bit in your final release of the game. Ah, uh, right, yeah, chocolate was there. Again, hard to see because of the wavery visual effects. Uh, I appreciate that they've made it the, the uh, checkpoints frequent enough that I don't really have to worry about dying. Um, I'm obviously not particularly good at platformers. Um, I do wish that they... Oh, jeez. Um, Checkpoints would probably just activate. I'd, forcing someone to stand there and hit space and wait for a small animation is admittedly not the best. Saw some cats ahead. Is that is that a? What does that mean? There are cats there. There's no indication. Of, is that good? Is that bad? Okay, cats are bad. After a moment, they swipe at you. Gotcha. Ah, uh, right, chocolate. Didn't didn't really even notice it there. Yeah. Mm. Uh. All right, fight with the cat more. Right. Don't jump in chocolate. All right. Yeah, you're you you quickly losing my patience, game. I'm not sure I understand what the uh, bubblegum covered signs are supposed to be up there. They, I mean, the graphics are relatively well done for the most part. The dog is cute enough, the cats are cute enough, the grapes seem a little odd and over bulky. I'm not sure why there's spiders or strange things in the foreground, maybe that's explained later. Press down to pick up the ball or to drop it, find the ball under the sofa. Up if you lose it. Okay. Wait, why is what? Why is that bad? Wait, I'm confused. What there is bad? What am I? What am I? Oh, am I? Am I happy? Slot probably. Oh, please don't go over there. Oh, okay. All right.
So press up to spawn ball, press down to get ball. Press down to drop ball. So I'm assuming that that's supposed to make me run towards it faster or something. I... platformer player, so... Regardless, you'll have to watch me die a lot in this playthrough. So, okay. Oh, oh okay, so if I let it run down, then I get a boost, right? I should know that. That's, that's not in the game, that's definitely on me. myself any further. I will say the mechanic of grabbing the ball and throwing it at enemies to bash them away, that's kind of fun. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're, call we're calling Linux. Oh, cats, I guess. Okay. Is my goal to get up to... Oh, jeez. Okay. okay. I feel like while I'm spinning in the air like that, I should be slam dunking. Shaquille O'Neal. Okay, climb the wall. Jump. Uh, bugger me. I mean, so it looks like he's got three three hairballs. Oh, fuck. Three hairballs. Okay. Yeah, I see you this time. Okay, so am I just trapped back here? 
probably. A closer inspection of that enemy is... Uh, he's pretty hideous. Presuming it's a he named Linux? But, I mean... Extra ball making me dash around thing, that's not not so fun. I'll just wait for the jump. There's no reason to bother trying to go up there unless he's just gonna actually stay. Which maybe he will since oh. Yeah, have it, okay. Yeah, I get it, you like to shout. Okay, so if that recharge they can hold onto the rope, climb up the rope, jump over here, jump up. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's really not a pleasant sound. Yeah, I could be real done with that. Oh, oh, he's right. Oh, I'm an idiot. Fighting the mechanics of the game to get to the- oh my god, that noise is not fun. Saving the effort. Uh, did you even hit me there? Well, now I don't actually have a. Okay, you're up there now. Now, 
was my own fault. I should have waited. I'm getting impatient, and I just I just want this fight to be over. I'm sick of hearing that roar. You're gonna roar? No? Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright. I will say, the music design in the background, the music is wonderful. I'm very impressed. It's lovely and it scales well with the scenes. Um, the lighting is excellent, the particle effects are pretty good, definitely there's some work to be done on the coloring, I think, and some work to be done in just the alignment of platforms. Um, I mean, you can see the seams on the left-hand side and the quarter panel between the bricks. There's, there's breaks, heavy breaks in the textures. Uh, okay, I got a meat fridge portal, alright, there we go, Kickstarter campaign, 24th of November. Um, just gonna... Just, are we stuck here? Nothing. Okay. That that it. Nothing to click on. Oh. There we go. Click on the pixel just sling down there. Lamp. Suddenly we have it. Oh. Ah, I see. I get it. Click on the Kickstarter campaign thing and we're going to the website. That should have been obvious. Um, so yeah, I guess overall, I'm relatively impressed. It's pretty tight controls, but uh, some of the mechanics provide an interesting interface to the game, and I'm not sure that that's the best. Um, I think there's a lot of work to be done, but they've put out um, Pixidus before, and Pixidus was relatively impressive, a similar atmosphere. I am looking forward to seeing more of what they're doing. Um, thanks for watching my recording, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Bye.